and welcome back to Take Time to Create. We are going to take this mannequin, this uh, mannequin I found at a flea market, and we are going to turn him into a lamp. But first things first, we need to patch the um, holes. There's a few holes here. There's a little damage on his back, and then this arm as well, um, and a little bit on his collarbones here. So we need to patch those up. I'm not exactly sure how to do this because I've never turned a <laughs> mannequin into a lamp. We are in my backyard. As you can see, it's different than my studio. I have this um, wall repair kit, so I thought this would work really well <clears throat> because it's got the um, compound in there and we just need to repair the hole. So I'm gonna put the mesh over, put a layer of it because we're going to sand it prime it, paint it. We're gonna do all the things to it, but we just need to repair the hole. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect, as always, <laughs> since you've probably seen my videos before. It doesn't need to be perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to um, take this. I have to cut it into smaller pieces, put it over the patches, and then, then yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna patch it up. I also have um, this plastic and wood spackle. So we're going to try that. We're going to kind of do a combination of all of it and see what works the best. All right, so I'm back and um, it's all sanded now and this is all smooth. This worked really well to um, patch everything. So it's all nice and smooth. I did rough up the whole surface. You just didn't need to see that sanding. It is what it is. Now it is time to spray paint. So um, I want it to look like stone. So I'm starting with uh, this primer color. It's um, Rust-Oleum, Satin Gray, uh, London Gray in Satin. And uh, it bonds to plastic, which is really important because that's what this is. I just thought I'd get a good base coat, get everything one color, and then we can go from there. Then um, I'm going to use the stone texture. And I have no idea what color this is. So um, this one's in the color Stone Pebble. And I'm hoping it only takes one can because that's all they had at the store. If not, I'll figure it out. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and um, spray paint. It's going to take at least uh, it's going to do one coat of this all over. And then it's going to probably take about two coats of the stone to get a good, nice stone finish. Because I thought that looked really good um, having it stone. All right. So let's get spray painting. Now, as always with spray painting, you want to do it in a well ventilated area, um, preferably outside. That's where I am right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead with this base coat shake it well follow the instructions as always with spray paint and be safe and use your PPE if you need to um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and spray paint Okay, so we're back and this is fully, fully dry and look at how amazing he looks. I think he looks amazing just like this. Um, honestly, you could stop here. Cool decor. But the, no, the next thing we need to do is make a little trough back here. So there is a screw right here. So I need to kind of go over to the side and it's just going to be just a little trough <laughs> because... The cord, this is going to go this way, this is the top end, it's going to plug into the top of the cord, but um, I think it'll come out and it'll sit a little nicer if there's just um, 
slightly a, a recessed area for it. So we're going to use this rotary tool to cut out the little troughed area. Um, I was given this tool from Tool Ant in exchange for my honest opinion. They provide a variety of woodworking tools and accessories you can buy. Same quality product as the famous ones at a low price. So we're going to try it out see what we think about it. There will be a link down below uh, if you want to see what's going on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to tip it over. I'm going to kind of put it down here on his tummy. I'll tip the camera down. Um, yeah, let's go to town. the trough is it perfect no but it was my first time um, doing this on a mannequin so I had to, to figure that all out but the tool worked great I was actually really pleased with it it did everything I needed to do and more I did actually use the um, sanding bit to uh, make it a little smoother I'm very happy with it so check them out the links down below and next is to put the lamp kit in so we have to drill a hole up here and um, then we'll put the lamp kit together and yeah then that's the last step and putting the lampshade on and he is done so let's get to that section okay he's done look at him he looks amazing oh my gosh I am absolutely in love with this lamp my camera battery ran out when I was filming how to put the light kit in very simple I just went in through the top and I just drilled a hole Follow the instructions. Your light kit might be slightly different from mine. I will link mine down below. And this is him. I did the, la the lamp um, at the angle of his head because I just thought it looked more organic. I thought that looked better, but there he is. I'm so happy. He looks fantastic. The stone looks amazing and it's fantastic. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.